Dustin. He no bigger than a fist, <laughs> but he's an amazing thing. I'm going to tell you something. Last year, Jimmy doesn't think I remember this. Last year, I pulled into a ranch house on County Road 77 in Park County for one specific reason, and that was to tell Kim and Ryan how sorry I was that they lost a baby um, in a miscarriage. And that let them know that I was heartbroken for them and that I'd be praying for them. A year later, <laughs> God is exceedingly good. Amen. You want to know what's twisted? Is that this wonder right here? Look at all those people. <laughs> You know that this little boy will not know one-fifth of the children that he was supposed to know in this world, as much as a quarter of the children that he should know he won't know. Because men and women have become lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure, lovers of everything else, pursuers of everything but God. This little boy will have one-fifth of his generation missing in this day's all because of a curse that has come to us called abortion. And we will call it women's health care in America. But if, do you know the truth about abortion? Do you know that a woman who has an abortion has a 25% more chance of breast cancer? 15% more chance of uterine cancer. A woman who has an abortion has mental problems that are like losing a child except it's hidden behind a lie and a secrecy. The lie is, is that this is an acceptable practice. I can't believe that you can look at this little one and say that's an acceptable practice. Mm -hmm. In Jeremiah, the first chapter, Fourth verse, Jeremiah is speaking and writing. He wrote down, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That says something about when life begins. Before the first two cells were united, God knew. And we interrupt the process as we offer our children to fall. Mm -hmm. You remember the God fall? Mm -hmm. You know, there was this, in the Canaan, Canaan land in Israel, oh, he, he, they had a statue that was shaped like me here, holding my arms like this, with a hole in his belly. And they had fire up that hole in his belly with coals, hot coals, and they just keep him burning and burning, getting red hot. And then at night they would take one of these and lay him in the arms alive of that statue and offer him to the god Baal. They found Baal worship in infant sacrifice in Carthage, which was North Africa on the other side of the Mediterranean. In southern Spain, the other side of the Mediterranean on the European side. They found it as far west as Iran, Persia. <coughs> this cult at different times had different strengths. Back then it was Baal. We call him something else now, convenience. It's okay. You're not ready. It wouldn't be right for you to bring a child to this world. People I love with all my heart have believed this lie, and I've been by them while they suffer through the reckoning of this. It costs. It costs a lot. And we need to call it what it is. It's evil. Amen. Now I want to take it a step further. You're going to think, Mark, you are being political. You don't go on there. You don't go on there. There is one place, this nation is, in November, is going to elect 
leaders. And the leaders we elect matter. Amen. Because the ones that are in effect right now believe that taking one of these and cutting them up in pieces inside of a woman and pulling them out and sending them off to different laboratories so that they can be researched is acceptable. And it's not. Let's call it for what it is. No, we may not agree with a lot of things. But we have to agree on this. Amen. And the church needs to make a stand. Now, I'm not saying we're going to go out and I want everybody to start picketing. I'm not saying that. If you know somebody who's in desperation, you let them know that the pastor and his wife have been trying to have one of these for 15 years. And uh, we want one. Don't throw one away. You bring it to us. And I bet you that there's at least a couple more in here that would do the same. There are options. We need to make a stand and say this is not right. This is not right. Amen. It's not about women's health. It's about corrupt, evil, and a lie. Amen. Adolf Hitler said if you tell a lie long enough, loud enough, and strong enough, people will, or big enough, you, people will believe it. And so they do. And so for the sake of convenience, when you say you're not ready to have a child, well, you obviously are, or you wouldn't be pregnant. Well, you have no business having a child. Well, if you have no business having a child, you need to change. And until then, there are people that will love that child. So we need to make a stand. The church has stood for this from the beginning. Abortion and dismissal of children is not new. The Romans, the Egyptians, the Middle Eastern tribes all had concoctions and methods to abort unwanted children. Little herbal teas that would make things kick into gear. And it, it was evil then. It's evil now. Amen. There these are blessings. Look at this. Can you figure this out? Does it take any figuring, much figuring here? These are blessings. And they will change lives. Amen. I am convinced that if people that find themselves in desperate measures, I know this to be a truth. If they will accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and become a part of the body of believers, their lives will change for good. Amen. It will. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're going to be walking on pillows. It's a good thing for how. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the first step. To understand the ground that we stand on. Mm -hmm. And to not be afraid to stand up and say what evil is. It's an evil. Amen. And the world is full of it. He's going to help me. He's going to help me read this again. Mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous and rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with it. And that includes at the poles. All right? You cannot have one foot on one side of the political <coughs> spectrum and another foot on one side of the religious spectrum. Amen. That's not Christianity. That's Americanism. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. It's not what we were founded upon. Gosh, this is nice. This is nice. I'm going to deliver this. Kimmy, I'm going to deliver this.